Welcome back. I'm Michael Ball, and this is the Commercial Real Estate Show. Today we're talking about top college real estate programs. Please welcome my next guest, Dr. Bill Harden. He is director of the Hollow School of Real Estate at Florida International University. Uh, Bill, thanks for joining us today. Oh, thanks for having me. I appreciate being on. Well, thank you, sir. And uh, FIU it seems to be known around the country for, for online uh, commercial real estate training. Tell us about the real estate department there at FIU. Okay, FIU has been uh, doing graduate real estate education actually since the 70s. Mm -hmm. About 10 years ago, we restarted our master's program. We have a face-to-face -face component uh, with about 40 students. We have online with uh, another 40 students. The online uses uh, the latest technology, video streaming, uh, whatever distance technology you can think of, we use it. Uh, we also run a program in uh, Guatemala and uh, looking at programs in the Dominican Republic and Panama. Interesting. These are all at the master's level. Okay, and tell us about some of the programs and some of the classes. Well, basically what we do is we look at real estate as a, uh, as a business and economic enterprise. Uh, of course, we all think about real estate as real estate investing, but the reality is, is real estate encompasses marketing management, asset management, investments, a whole area where uh, fees are generated, where there are business operations uh, that are all centered around the ownership and control of real estate. So what we do is we take that concept, real estate as an economic enterprise, and encompass that idea throughout all our coursework, whether we're talking about capital markets or uh, direct investment, securitization, or simply legal contracts. So that's the main idea is to have the decision tool so that people can make decisions focused on real estate topics. Okay. And where's your campus located? Uh, we actually run our uh, master's program right on Brickle in the heart of Miami. Uh, within about a half mile of our location, there is right now under development probably two to three billion dollars worth of real estate. Nice. And then your programs are available online. It seems like you guys are a real leader there. So if someone is working uh, in a full-time job and they want to go back and, and, and get a degree or a master's in real estate, let's say, uh, what's the process? How long, long might it take? What are some of the classes they would take? Well, it's, we would run a one-year one program online. It's the same outcomes that we have for the face-to-face. -face. Mm -hmm. uh, it's fairly intensive. But the main focus, and here's what we focus on, is the primary limitation for most people is access to this type of information, this type of education, which is there are only about 20 or 30 business-oriented uh, MSRE programs in the United States. And typically, you have to go somewhere, quit your job to take those programs. Ours is geared towards the people who have the opportunity cost uh, that want to expand their education, but they already have a job in real estate, maybe entry level, maybe two or three years. They may want to learn more than what they do every day. So they come to our program. It's easy. You just apply, go to the website. Uh, you know, we have plenty of people that can help you get started. But the reality is that we recognize that the biggest limitation for most people is simply access that does not require going to a different city. Yeah, I love online learning. I mean, it, uh, it's so convenient. And, and what I like about it, too, is you can typically, on a lot of online learning, you can take your own pace and, and you can dive into deeper where you want to and, and move quickly on other areas. So at FIU, is there an area of expertise that FIU is, uh, is known for uh, that people might be interested in? Well, here's what, I mean, uh, our program includes uh, – most of the analytical tools, we have Argus certification, we have the, the essential site to do business, CoStar, all the databases that most people would use so they would become familiar with, in essence, the techniques and the technology that industry uses. But I think our real key and what we try and sell is we are a real estate program that is focused on real estate. We incorporate finance, we incorporate all the other uh, areas 
architectural design, costing, et cetera, et cetera. But our key is that our students, when they get out, they can identify opportunities and they can work with these opportunities uh, within a real estate context. So I think what we're known for is people who understand what is doable and what is not doable and can articulate it to people who are sophisticated and require analysis. That's fantastic. And then you have a class called Advanced Real Estate Investment Valuation. Tell us a little bit about that class and what people learn and uh, uh, systems and tools. That is uh, a course focused on direct investment in real estate. Mm -hmm. We talk about real estate in a portfolio context. We also, of course, use the discounted cash flows, Excel, Argus. But the essential component of that higher level or that more advanced investment course is what makes one investment suit one particular invest investor or another. Concurrent with that is what are the real underlying assumptions that everyone's making when they make that investment? Because we all know in real estate that we're crying, we're really trying to tell a story to an investor, whether it's an institutional investor, small investor on how they're going to make a return. And the key is, can I justify those assumptions and I can't, can I quantify the potential returns? Yeah. So that's the focus on being able to walk into somebody's office and say, this is what I think we need to do. This is how it might work. And here's the downside. Let's discuss it. Yeah, that's excellent. Uh, and you got to tell a little bit about the, the future and, and what assumptions you're using and understand them. So that's a great class. Well, stay tuned. We're going to take a short break. We'll have more information on top college real estate programs, including more from FIU. I'm Michael Bull. This is the Commercial Real Estate Show. We'll be right back. The Commercial Real Estate Show is brought to you in part by your friends at Bull Realty. When your business requires proven performance, visit bullrealty.com or call 800-408-BULL. Welcome back to the Commercial Real Estate Show. I'm Michael Bull. Thanks for being with us today. Today we're talking about the top college real estate programs in the U.S. And I have Dr. Bill Harden with us from FIU, Florida International University. And, uh, you know, Bill, I see that you serve on the editorial review board of the Appraisal Journal. What are the top three issues in your mind uh, regarding appraisals and the appraisal industry right now? Right. Uh, appraisal, as we all know, has been going through kind of a, a transition for the last 10 or 15 years, uh, driven in large part by uh, regulatory uh, changes. Uh, and I think the number one issue that's uh, out there for appraisers is how to remain uh, integral to the real estate process, given some limitations from regulation. Uh, if I go back 10 or 15, 20 years, appraisers were always looked on as essential components and now I believe with some of the regulation they're just looked at as uh, participants providing uh, especially on the residential side uh, some paperwork to close a loan so I would argue that regulation may have not have been great for appraisers and appraisers need to basically recognize the fact that they have a lot of value that they add to uh, real estate transactions uh, they also need to get in front of the fair value accounting issues and some of the other issues that are uh, out there with regard to uh, how you account for real estate on balance sheets and become leaders in that area. So I think um, a lot of opportunity, a lot of skill set. They need to get human capital into appraisal because in the finance area, finance's essence is buying in or getting a lot of the younger kids to come in there because they do similar similar type analysis but they might get paid a lot more money working at a hedge fund or private equity or even in a commercial banking setting so i think recognition that they need to get some human capital as well yeah that's a good point so what's different today in the commercial real estate appraisal field uh that we had before the recession uh, how's it different well, I think uh, it's probably more on the residential side than on the commercial side. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think as uh, all the lending institutions uh, become more uh, oriented towards compliance, 
they're less oriented towards using expertise. Uh, we know that compliance is supposed to be uh, related to risk reduction, but I think perhaps in the commercial real estate side, we've erred on the, fi on the side of, oh, we're complying with regulation, as opposed to using the, the broad breadth of intellectual capital that most commercial appraisers bring to the table which is it used to be a collaborative effort, which is everyone would work together, get information, and, and, and do a really good job. And now due to some of the regulatory constraints, it's harder to work as a team. Yeah, and before we, we're at the end of the show here, we just have a minute, but the Miami market is kind of crazy. You're right in the middle of it. What can you tell us about it? Well, I think we're, uh, Miami's the, the, the real beneficiary of a lot of foreign capital. I like to say that Miami is actually an export market for real estate and that most of the real estate on the residential side that's purchased in Miami is purchased by people from outside the United States, outside of Florida. So in essence, it's one of the few areas in real estate where you're not very dependent on the local economy. So as Miami has become a global city, there's just simply a, a, a global demand for owning some type of residential property or lifestyle, political hedge, whatever reason, but you know we're living and benefiting from being now considered a global city. Yeah, it certainly is, and uh, you can tell when you're there, it's a it's a great city. Well, thanks for joining us today, Bill. We appreciate it. Well, thank you, Michael, and uh, best of luck. The commercial market's looking good, so everybody should be feeling a little bit better. Yeah, we can all do the Snoopy dance now. <laughs> oh yeah, good. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks, and, and thank you for joining us on the Commercial Real Estate Show today, and be sure and join us next week. Until next week, be sure that you always lead, learn, and laugh, and join us for the Commercial Real Estate Show. The Commercial Real Estate Show is brought to you by Florida International University and Bull Realty Commercial Brokerage, a great place to do business. For more information on these companies or to access additional podcasts, videos, or blogs, visit commercialrealestateshow.com.